Friends, we are gathered here for a number of exciting reasons today. We're here to thank God for the gift of marriage and to witness together the joining of bond and sing in this relationship. A reading from Romans chapter 12. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Seeing it's no secret it was a fight to get here. We both went through a lot. Nothing was given, rather everything had to be earned. At times where I felt rejected, you embraced me. At times when I felt pushed away, you accepted me. And at times when I felt inadequate, you uplifted me and encouraged me. You showed me unconditional love even when I, when I did not deserve to be loved. You showered me with love and compassion in seasons where I was not doing the same. Sing, if nobody ever told you this, I want to tell you. You are beautiful. You are brave. You are courageous. You are smart. You are hardworking and so much more that I could write. You're in every way the suffering servant of so many things. You went through so much in order to get us where we are today. You always stood up for me, defended me, and never wavered in your devotion to me. I've never seen a woman as strong as you. You always counted my wants more significant than yours. You always put me first and was always willing to be second. Your love for me endured, and I just want to say thank you for not giving up even though it was so easy to. And I hope to see you grow into your potential. You know, now that I look back at our old memories, we were always arguing as kids, and still do. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But no matter how much we fought, God always found a way for us to come together again. Yeah. By his sovereignty we endured, and because of him you have taught me about grace and forgiveness. Though this relationship, through this relationship, it has taught me that we both need Jesus. Yes. But to want him is much more than simply knowing we need him. So I vow to treasure you, to want you, to be your comforter and supporter, to love you and to not forsake you. I vow to always be yours and to live this life with you and God. You are my home, my sanctuary, and I will be with you forever. Amen. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, it's okay. What? <laughs> the time. <laughs> the time. <laughs> Don't cry! Don't cry! How can I not cry when you look like this? No. <laughs> yeah, you like it? I like it. I like it. All I want to say to you both is I wish you nothing but the best. I know you both will be amazing partners and I support you both 100%, even when it feels like not a lot of people do. I know there's people out there that simply want the best for you too, okay? Sing, I love you so much. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be your maid of honor. Bon, thank you for making my best friend the happiest she can be. And if you don't, well, let's just say currently we don't know each other that well, but you best believe you're gonna know me if she's upset, okay? <laughs> I remember seeing this zeal, this passion in bond for the Lord. And I want to say, Sing, that you found a man that loves the Lord. And that is a blessing of God. But Sing, one of the things about you that I like to say is you have been faithful to bond. And bond, finding something like that in a woman, it's hard to. And I just want to commend the love that you've had for one another and just the grace that you've had with each other and how Christ is exemplified in your guys' life. I give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Over the years, I've had the pleasure to see you grow up from a pretty young lady to now a beautiful woman. I know I don't say this much, but I love you, and you are beautiful. And not just today, but every day. Before God in this gathering, Bond and Singh have made their solemn vows to each other. 
They have confirmed the promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Bond, you may kiss your bride. 